Have you ever wondered what in the world to do with all of the clearance deals that you find and stock up your pantry and freezers with and now everything's full, but you still don't know what's for dinner? What do you mean what's for dinner? I am here to help you with that. We are going to do a freezer and pantry clean out in today's video. I'm utilizing what I have. I pull things out, make up a dinner and serve it and everyone seems pretty happy. So I thought I would bring you along with me today as we work on that. My friends, if you love pantry and freezer clean out cooking videos, hook me up with one of these and let's get going. A lot of the time I love to start right here because I kick it off with a protein. Let's say I'm doing ground beef. So I'm like, okay, sweet ground beef. What in the world have I made before with ground beef that's delicious? These are my family's go-to ground beef meals. Chili, hands down, one of the top. Taco in any form, ground beef tacos, burritos, quesadillas. Taco salad is a huge hit in my house. We really try and push a lot of veggies. You can eat a lot more veggies when you put it on top of a bed of lettuce. Korean beef rice bowls. Did I say that backwards? Korean beef rice bowls? Korean rice beef bowls? I don't know. Meatloaf is always good and you can always doctor up a jar of sauce and a box of pasta with some of this and an onion and some spices. So I just listed out like five meals that you could make with this protein that I found. It's not what I'm using today. In fact, let's just move on over to the first thing I'm making this week, ham. So did you pick up a ham after Easter? Cause it was like 99 cents a pound on clearance and then you threw it in your freezer and forgot about it? Me too, here it is. I decided to pull out the ham Look how gorgeous this is, it's amazing. And because this spiral ham was pre-cooked, all I had to do was throw it in the oven to heat it, heat it up. And to go alongside, oh, that's hot, ow. I made some taters, look at this. So I had some garden green beans from last year, pulled those out of the freezer, some little uh, red potatoes, a package of bacon, some chicken broth, some pepper, some salt, let it simmer all together. Nothing fancy going on here, but we're gonna end up with a lot of leftover ham. So hang around because later in this video, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with all that extra ham after you cook a big ham like this. What the heck are you gonna do with all the leftover ham? Cause there's gonna be a lot. I wanted to take a minute and share with you what I do after dinner, after we do these family meals. So in a recent video of mine, I was giving you guys hacks for a stress-free life. And one of my biggest tips was sleep. Sleep to me is one of the most important things. And one of the questions I got from you guys was how? How do you get good sleep if you just can't? I was very excited when Beam reached out to me because I've been watching the Buttery Brothers for literally years and they use this all the time. So when I got this a few months ago to try out, I was very excited. So basically these are nighttime like hot chocolate blends to help you sleep better. There's a CBD version and a non-CBD version. They come in a ton of different flavors and chocolate's my favorite. So Dave and I have just been mixing one scoop into a glass of cold water and it has been helping us fall asleep so well. It tastes like hot chocolate. There's no added sugar. There's like 15 calories in it. So you get a great night's sleep, which is what I mentioned was so important in my other video. The benefits of a great night's sleep are unmatched. They're these right here. And one of my favorite things is if you use a sleep tracker, we use the Garmin sleep tracker on our smartwatches, you can actually track your sleep and see how it improves over time. If you go to shopbeam.com slash frugalfitmom, you can subscribe and save 20%. And you get an additional 20% off and a free frother with my code frugalfitmom. You can click my link below in the doobly-doo or you can use this QR code right here. You can pause, skip, cancel anytime, 40% off. That's an amazing offer right now. You're not gonna find that deal anywhere else. <laughs> get yours for 40% off and a free frother link below or QR code. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This is such a fun trick when it comes to saving you time later and helping you avoid throwing things away. It's kind of twofold. The meaning of the box is threefold. It's to freeze half of what you're doing. For example, I recently made lasagna. Lasagna takes quite a bit of work. I just doubled everything and made an extra for the freezer. This is it, I just pulled it out right now. This is frozen solid. If there's ever a night I'm like, ugh, dinner, ugh, I, can't, I cannot be bothered. Guess what? I have a meal already and it didn't take any extra work because I already made a lasagna in that moment. It's my favorite way of doing freezer meals. And here's another way that you can do it. I'm gonna kind of show it to you right now. I can take this huge amount of meat that can feel overwhelming, okay? Cut the meat off the bone and I can stick the bone in the freezer in just a baggie with some onion and dried beans and a bay leaf and it is ready to go for red, for red beans and rice. I can take these, uh, slices of ham right here and I can put them in 
my little containers like this with some veggies right here, lid on, label it, and pop it in the freezer. I've done this a lot, and then my husband can just pull one out and take it to work for lunch. So by the time he gets to lunch, it's mostly thawed. He pops it in the microwave, boom, meal prep lunch. It's that easy. There's a lot of foods that you can freeze. You've got some onions that are looking a little sketch, chop them up, put them in a container, a baggie, put them in the freezer for later. The same thing with bell peppers. You can do this with citrus. You have a ton of lemons, limes, grapefruits, whatever, and you're just not gonna get to them in time. You had good intentions with the grapefruit. Turns out you don't really like the grapefruit. You can juice it all and freeze the juice in like ice cube trays, pop them out. You can do it with garlic, ginger, cooked rice freezes really well, cooked mashed potatoes, and that way you can kind of space out your leftovers. So you don't wanna eat chili every day for five days, no sweat. Chili freezes, fantastic. So I'm kind of I'm kind of down to my bone. Like it's not quite that big, but I do want some extra ham as well to go with like my bean dish. So this is gonna be my um, like red beans and rice cut of ham right here. And it's gonna be amazing. And these big chunks like this, I'll just dice up and you can put these in Tupperwares with some cooked potatoes, like baked potatoes that you didn't end up eating that night, dice them up. You have like a potato and ham hash. You can add an egg to it in the morning. Boom, like meal prep breakfast, ready to go before you know it. I hope this helps you think of a few different ways you can try and avoid food waste in your house so you're not one of those Americans that throw away 40% of the food that they buy because that is just crazy down. Uh, for tonight's dinner, I am on Operation get rid of sauces <laughs> that I've had for a while. So I had two packages of this coconut korma in my pantry for forever. I got out a huge package of chicken. So this is two very large chicken breasts. Over here, I have mostly zucchini, honestly. I had a little bit of baby bok choy in the fridge, a little bit of broccoli, cut it all up, just sauteing this in some avocado oil, salt, pepper, and a splash of jalapeno juice. And over here, this is the other half of the package of chicken I got out with some tacos al pastor, sauce. I know I say that very American. I'm bad at rolling my R's. Listen, I took French <laughs> in high school, so we learned the throat roll, not the tongue roll. You Americans always butcher the French language. <laughs> anyway, so this is, the chicken's actually still kind of frozen here, so we are going to let this marinate for two hours, and then I will cook this for lunches for tomorrow. That is tackling an entire family-sized package of chicken breasts tonight and three bottles of sauce or jars or whatever it is you want to call it. So I had two of those and that. Three containers, totally gone. Yes! And I want to show you what I'm going to be getting out for dinner tomorrow because we got to work on it uh, tonight. I'm really getting at this freezer thing because I'm like, I have, I have a cap coming soon. I'm getting out this ham bone for red beans and rice right there. So I'm going to thaw that overnight. And I bought these small red beans. This is my favorite bean to use for red beans and rice from Azure Standard, Azure Market. It says Azure Market on there, but that's where I got these from. So I will soak these overnight in just cold water. I do have a code for Azure Standard if you've never tried it. I gotta say, the ingredients are extremely high quality. They, I find them to be a little more expensive than anywhere else. But if you are looking at quality, ethically sourced, the organic variety, they have it all. You can also do this on the stove, but I am headed out for a few hours, so this feels like the best way to do it. So I have my ham bone, a, a few other pieces of just ham with no bone that I'll chop up later, and a couple of bay leaves. Here are my beans. This is a huge amount of beans. Like, I almost wonder if this is too many. It's only a pound and a half, but it's like, oh, oh my gosh. So now I don't know if these are gonna fit, because this is a huge plate of veggies. What I have here is the holy trinity in Louisiana, which is celery, bell peppers, and onions. I am pretty much at the top, and I haven't added my chicken broth or my Tony's yet, but I'm gonna try and add some water. This feels over the max fill line, but you know what, we're just gonna see what happens. I do have this set on high, so it will get crack a lacking, and if all else fails, I can put it in a pot later. <coughs> oh my gosh, I've got pepper spray. Darn you toadies! Mmm, I love my nose. So I feel like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is about all we can fit in here. I have eight cups of water. I did some of this better than bouillon lids going on. 
Uh, we're just gonna watch it and kind of see what it does. I can add more water, I can move it to a pot later. This is, <coughs> Tony's in the nose, one star, do not recommend. Let's go downstairs to where I keep the bodies. She's kidding, right? I was at the store a few days ago and there was an amazing sale on peanut butter. It was 99 cents a jar. Still here in 2023, 99 cents a jar. And I was like, Dave, this peanut butter is 99 cents a jar. And he goes, Christine, we have peanut butter. Hunk. He's right, look. Look at all this peanut butter. So I was like, wow, we need to use this peanut butter. So let's get some peanut butter. Best before 2022, not expired, just best before. She's one brave lady. This is one of my go-tos when it comes to using up peanut butter. If it's getting kind of old or whatever, is my four ingredient peanut butter protein bars. This will use up actually a lot of things you have hanging around. Who has protein powder hanging around that you bought with good intentions but you're not using it? This is fantastic. Got some oats hanging around, have some honey that's crystallizing. It's all gonna come together and do this. So I found a couple of things I'm gonna use. Of course, here's my big one, but like this one's almost gone. It's like here. This granola butter is like here. And I have two of these little packets that my kids decided they didn't wanna use. So we're gonna combine all of it together. I think it's two full cups of peanut butter. Not only did I clean out all those other containers, I used half of this container. If you guys love the smell of peanut butter as much as I do, peanut butter. Oh, like this video if you haven't yet. Next up is one and three quarter cup of honey. So, oh, that's, oh no. <laughs> So here's my honey. This is a local honey that I'm all, almost out of. Um, I haven't seen that they've been selling it lately. So I have a one cup measuring cup here. So we'll do our first, ooh, look how low I am. I might have to go get more honey from downstairs. I do buy honey in bulk. So I always have quite a lot of it. Okay, there's one cup. I love honey. My grandpa had bees. And so we, we had honey a lot growing up. So, the smell of honey, the taste of honey reminds me of my grandfather. And there is my next three quarter cup of honey. And I did find like a whole nother jar of local honey. So that was fun. Pop this in the microwave 90 seconds. That is she just said. While that's going, measure out two and one quarter cup of your favorite protein powder. I usually use vanilla, but I, I have the chocolate one. So I'm going to be using the chocolate one today. And one cup of oats. You can use instant or rolled not steel cut, that will not work. Don't forget to get a whisk. Okay, whisk, <laughs> yeah. After 90 seconds, get in here with your whisk and mix this until it is totally combined. Use your arm muscles and then we will switch out the whisk with a wooden spoon or stirring spoon or something like that because it's gonna get thick. Protein powder in. Mm. Make sure you throw it on the counter. Are you even cooking if your counter's not a mess when you're done? Nope, the answer is no. Last ingredient, one cup of oats. Stir until combined. Now get a nine by 13 pan. Pour your mixture into pan. Push it out to the corners and you will be storing this in the refrigerator. So I like to put some saran wrap on the top so it doesn't dry out. And keep in mind, this is not a low calorie snack. It's peanut butter and protein powder and honey it is extremely calorie dense. It is amazing for athletes. It's delicious and fills up those teenage athletes. If you have any of those, this is amazing for that. Oh, hey, for dinner tonight, we are going to make a spicy sausage minestrone sort of, I don't know how to say that right. Anyway, we're making this soup thing and I'm using all these things because I have them all and I have to get some things out of my freezer because I bought a half a cow or a quarter cow. I bought some amount of cow and it's coming in one month. So I gotta get things like this out of my freezer. So for today's spicy Italian sausage, um, just using Jimmy Dean Hot, it works in this application just fine. It will be delicious. I have a soup pot kind of heating up right here, a heavy bottomed pot. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. You were bottom heavy. <laughs> no muss, no fuss, and I am gonna use my handy dandy meat masher from no other than the Dollar Tree. Here we go. If you wanna get that free ticket for the Get Organized HQ online conference to help you get organized this fall, we are running out of time. The free ticket is available down in the blue below. 
but it starts next week. You are not going to want to miss this conference. There are over a hundred speakers with my friends Dawn and Cass and Crystal. Get your free ticket. And if you want the bonuses, you're gonna have to get the all access pass. Right now it's $39, but the price goes up on Sunday. It's going to be the cheapest right now, if you haven't gotten it yet. If you wanna get the all access pass, you get all of my digital cookbooks for free. That's one of the many, many bonuses for getting the all access pass. I'll be doing two sessions, a live session and a session on saving money. I really hope to see you there. You can totally just get the free ticket, no sweat. Okay, I have two cans of rinsed cannellini beans going in and one huge can of your favorite tomatoes. I just happen to have this one in the pantry. I think I got it at Dollar Tree, but we're gonna throw this in too. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna add the second to last ingredient. It is going to be some zucchini. I got these from my mom's garden. And then I will also cook this orzo in a separate pot and serve it together. Of course, I'll taste for salt. For tonight's dinner, we're gonna have taco salad. What is going on with the shiny face? I'm so shiny. Taco salad is a total go-to in my house. Number one, everybody likes it. Number two, I almost always have the stuff on hand. There's my ground beef, I couldn't find it. And I'm still trying to use up all this ground beef from that cow I got like two years ago. Yes, it does stay good that long because those, those butchers that butcher cows, they wrap everything so nicely. But let me show you all the stuff we are hoping to use up today. I am blurry. I am planning on cooking three pounds of ground beef. It's a lot. We really only need two pounds for my family, but I do like having extras for lunches tomorrow. The day I'm filming this, my kids are not back in school yet, so I think like some easy quesadillas and burritos with some already done taco meat is the ticket. Let me show you all the stuff we're using up today. So someone left open these like chips and now they're super stale, so we're gonna use them. You cover that with enough sour cream and salsa and spicy meat, it'll be fine. Half a jar of this Mateo's, do you like this kind? Hot, this is very, very hot. Yeah. Hopefully we can use that. This sour cream is like here, we use this up. And then I have a few of these like sour cream little guys from a meal box kit we didn't use. I have this salsa. Do you remember those commercials? Pace, not New York City. Uh, do you remember that? I'm totally doing that wrong. Anyway, I wanna use this one first cause this one's not the one I like as much. Uh, I'm gonna cut up some of these tomatoes. I do have some nice romaine I just picked up, so we'll cut up a bunch of that. I am on my very last taco clearance guy. Best if used by August of 2020. <laughs> Who is she? In my defense, I bought like four of these because they were, they were on clearance like this. So when this one's gone, we're gonna have to buy more taco seasoning. I mean, I could make my own, but ain't nobody got time for that. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, I also made a blueberry pie. Mom. <laughs> no, let me go put on a hat or something. I'll, I'll cut off your hair. We just got back from mountain bike. <laughs> Is my own hair I was gonna ask your opinion on the pie. Stop running away. It's delicious. <laughs> I cannot be hideous in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Andrew, how's the pie? So wonderful. It's magically delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic, sweetie. Fantabulous. You guys are horrible on camera. Yeah, it's, you know, it sounds so forced. I could use a little more sugar, because I like sugar. Even though the internet reviews said use less sugar. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today and good luck to you in cleaning out your pantries and freezers. Happy eating.